Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Mr. Bettingfield and it's Tuesday, September 29th. Let's begin with today's brief Lakeside High School announcements. There is a grace period right now for free and reduced meals for all students. However, the meal application needs to be completed since it will expire on September 29th, 2020. Families can fill out the application at this website. Families can call School Nutrition Services at 678-676-1777 for assistance. Students who qualify for free and reduced lunch also have access to ACT and SAT test fee waivers and college application fee waivers. Anyone who is a junior or senior who might qualify should get their parents to apply. It's time for students to start their registration for AP exams. To register for an exam, students need to do the following. Begin the process by registering at this address. Here students will indicate both the AP courses they are taking this year and the exams they wish to take. Any exam fees will be paid online so be sure to have a debit card or credit card available before beginning registration. Once students have registered on this platform, they will receive their join codes and directions to complete the second required step of the process. Use the join codes provided at the completion of step one to enroll the students' AP courses and exams in the College Board system. Registration ends October 31st at midnight. Vikings! There will be a Region 2 College and Career Connections event featuring presentations by Georgia State University and the University of Georgia on September 30th at 3.30 p.m. It will be a Teams presentation and you must register at the, uh, at the address on your screen. And now, a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Now, to Braden with the news. Hello Lakeside, I'm Braden and I'm going to be doing your daily news brief today. President Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will debate each other for the first time tonight in the first of three presidential debates. The debate is set to begin at 9 p.m. Eastern in Cleveland. The debate will be moderated by Fox News anchor Chris Wallace and will cover Trump and Biden's records. The Supreme Court in COVID-19, the economy, race and violence in U.S. cities and the integrity of the election. As of now, Biden is currently the favorite with polling leads in the national average and in many key states. All of the major networks will be airing the debate including CNN, Fox News, CBS, ABC, C-SPAN, NBC, and MSNBC. The New York Times will be live streaming the event as well. Thousands of California residents fled two new blazes Monday and exploded size overnight, torching nearly 10,000 acres. The Zog fire burned through 7,000 acres in less than five hours near Redding in Northern California. And the glass fire tore through 2,500 acres in Napa Valley wine country north of San Francisco. The fires driven by gusty winds burned several structures overnight. The National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for nearly all the Northern California. A heat wave in the west is combining with dry winds whipping the air, heightening the risk of wildfires this week. Since the beginning of the year, there have been more than 8,100 wildfires and have burned more than 3.7 million acres throughout the state. Since August 15, 26 people have died and more than 7,000 structures have been destroyed. Now to the sports with Lucas, the sports guy. It's Lucas, your sports guy here. Another week, another loss for the Falcons. Quarterback Nick Foles led the Chicago Bears to a 30-26 victory on Sunday at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The Falcons blew a 16-point lead right after blowing a 20-point lead to Dallas last week. Foles tossed a total of three touchdown passes in the span of four minutes and 26 seconds, sinking the Falcons to 0-3 for the first time since 2007. The Falcons became the first team in NFL history to, to lose back-to-back -back games in which it led by 15 points or more in the fourth quarter. Are, are you joking? In other news, faced with a chance to build on its midweek win against Dallas, Atlanta United instead reverted to the form it showed for most of the MLS season in Saturday's 2-0 loss at Chicago. 
Playing without several key starters, Atlanta United's defense was slow to react in several key moments and its offense couldn't overcome excellent go goalkeeping or take advantage when it had quality chances. Hampered by giving up yet another early goal, it was the team's fourth loss in its past five games and it dropped into 11th place and below the 10-team playoff line for the second time in eight days. Atlanta United will play at DC United on Saturday in an important game in the playoff race. And Lakeside Sports is returning. The varsity softball team is set to play at Druid Hills High School today at 5 p.m. They will then play North Atlanta at 4.30, Friday, October 2nd, and 10 a.m. Saturday the 3rd. Check out the team's schedule and support, and go support your Vikings, socially distanced and masked, of course. That is it for today. Thank you.